So over here I have the uh, Thermalite LGA 1700 uh, contact frame. This is going to replace the, the stock ILM uh, from Intel for this. Uh, basically what it does, it's uh, preventing uh, bending of the CPU and uh, and because of that, and the uh, contact of the thermals would be uh, more accurate with this thing, so uh, it would get like a lower uh, CPU temperature that way. Uh, so I will be installing that on my uh, 12 Gen Elder Lake uh, <coughs> CPU, uh, 1200 12,900K. I will be installing that on there. So. Uh, Let's uh, take a look uh, inside the box, see, see uh, what we have. So as soon as you open the box, you get like the tool to uh, unscrew the screws that holds the custom ILM from Intel on the motherboard. And you get the contact frame, that's, that's what it looks like. And you get like an instruction, uh, instruction manual to how to install it basically and on the other side it's all in Chinese so I can understand but uh, the installation is fairly simple let's take a closer look on the ILM on the contact frame so basically it looks something like that it's, uh, black this is where you you're supposed to put the, put it on this orientation with the, you have a triangle that would match the triangle on the motherboard so basically to install that we need to reuse the four screws from the ILM on the motherboard so uh, when I'm going to install it you'll see how it works basically so here is the Thermalite contact frame is installed. Uh, it's been fairly easy to install this. It's just a one, two, three uh, method, just like you do with the thread ripper, kind of in a way. What you do is uh, you remove the old retention bracket and uh, you keep the screws because you need those to mount uh, the contact frame. And you just put the contact frame right into the socket with the triangle indication over there to match it with the socket, uh, triangle on the socket itself. And you just place it in there and uh, you start with uh, to, to put the screws, all of them, all four of them, you put them in place. And then you start with the crisscross pattern, like you turn it like maybe a turn and a half over here and a turn and a, and a half over here. Turn and a half over here, turn and a half over here. You do that until you don't feel any, until you start feeling resistant. Once you start feeling resistance, you stop right away because <clears throat> you don't want to put too much tension on the socket itself because otherwise you won't be able to post and uh, your RAM channel won't work. But don't worry, it's not gonna mean that you're uh, you broke anything. You just uh, all you have to do is release the tension over there and install it properly and it will, should work right as rain. So uh, basically that's, uh, that's been my installation of uh, the contact frame and uh, so far it's, it's pretty good. Still have to run more tests on it like more stress tests and Cinebench and whatnot. Uh, so uh, yeah that's basically been my installation, my experience with this uh, product. It's a pretty affordable product, only cost me like six dollars, something like that on AliExpress. It's totally worth it. Like you have it all over the place in AliExpress, so there is no shortage shortages of uh, this product. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my video, and uh, see you in the next one.